Hiya! I got a grenade kill. That might be my first grenade kill. Did I get like a double, triple grenade kill? Man, if every map played like this, I would, I might play Battlefield. Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy. Today I'm back in Battlefield 2042 because of the enormous, amazing class update they've added for 3.2. For those of you who haven't seen some of my previous Battlefield videos, you know the things that I've mostly complained about with Battlefield 2042 is ridiculously long engagement distances, weapons feeling really kind of poorly balanced. Overall, the controls have been kind of weird in that it's taken them a long time to get those kind of ironed out. And just the game feels very like, soulless and insignificant, there's audio issues. So in response to what I think are the biggest concerns of this game, they've given us classes! Just not to hate on that, but basically they took everything that was in Battlefield 2042, that you had access to, and chopped it up and made it so that less of it is available to each operator. Which doesn't address any of my concerns with the game at all. <laughs> so let's jump in to the Escalation break Breakthrough playlist because I think that's the one that has... They also rebalanced or re redid, I guess, the ice map. I forget what that's called. Breakaway. Oh, this this one. Good. I'm, just, I'm hoping I was going to get into the new map. I kind of thought that they had reworked it in the last one, if you didn't see my last Battlefield video, when I was really complaining about how big and open and stupid the map was. Um, it hadn't been done yet, so now it's done, so there's this new uh, layout for Breakaway, so I'm excited to see how that plays out. And other than that, honestly, I'm not expecting this to really fix anything that I've been concerned about. Although now I have these classes, which I had already kind of structured mine around that, before, with the exception of being, okay, let's say if I was running the engineer class, or I was, say I was running the assault class, and all of a sudden there were a lot of vehicles, and I wanted to use my same weapons and my same loadout, but maybe I just wanted to throw a rocket launcher on to do the vehicles, I could do that. Now I can't do that anymore, which is more like classic Battlefield, but honestly, it took one of the better changes in 2042 and rolled it back. I never felt like one of the core problems in this game was that my teammates weren't fulfilling their roles well enough. Um, what they could have done, which I didn't realize until I went to back some of these other Battlefield games, I think it was Battlefield Hardline. If your teammates had ammo refills, you could walk up to them and press a button and take ammo from them in case they were not paying attention and laying it down. That would have been nice to add, but instead they just made it so fewer people now can carry ammo, and then that's gonna help somehow. One of the major things that has been a problem in this game for me has been the controls. So, that has just been slowly, progressively getting better over time. But still, my overall biggest issue in this entire game has been that the maps are way too big and poorly designed so that engagement distances are ridiculously long. There's not enough cover to move tactically. Um, so this map being redesigned, hopefully will make that a little bit better. I mean, already you can see there's more cover through here. It's kind of an overlook position here. This is dangerous where people can loggerheads. This feels like an older battlefield map where you can be out here in the open like this. But you can also move tactically with cover. You saw on that first time, I've never played this map before. But I kind of instinctively moved over and used that edge to flank over there. Which kind of led me into no man's land. But there do to appear, appear to be some tactical routes in this map. So, at least initially, promising here. This still... I mean, these lanes kind of feel more like a classic Battlefield map. Oh, 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 ow, ow, ow. So, initially, this sounds like it'd be okay. I just really don't think the class rework is what this game needed. I know a lot of people were asking for it, so I guess kudos to the Battlefield team for giving people what they were complaining about, but the people complaining were just like, this isn't like other Battlefields, what's different? But that's really not the issue. The issue in this game isn't necessarily the way it was different from other battlefields in the sense of squads. 
It was just the way the whole game was built around like these 128 player maps. And just all of the maps being really poorly designed so that regardless of your class or playstyle, they just. the maps just didn't play well. Well, that's friendly. There still isn't a very good differentiation. Oh god. That vehicle killed me around that corner somehow? Ha like, what? Alright. And the audio is still super fucking muted in this game. Can we get around here? Sniper! Oh god. Can we get a good way to push around here? Yeah, we got some ridges, we got some cover. I got the ability to push tactically through here, all right. Push up. Do I have some high ground up here? Do I hear footsteps to my left? I think I do. Oh, I hear someone right there. Too much magnification on this optic. Fucking turrets. Oh yeah, look at that flank. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! The M5, really? When did it become that good? Hey guys, we got a good flank here. Thank you. Yeah, watch out, there's some murderers over here. Still really long engagement distances from here. Better cover. Let's move towards the point, see what I can do. Yeah, look at this. There is cover. All right. Kind of an overwatch position here. Is that a fr That's a friendly. <laughs> Great game. Thanks. All right, what do we got? Holy shit. Not sure what revealed my position, but it has been revealed. I'm right here for you, squad. Spawn on me. Get in there. I'm not jumping down there, though, because I'll just die. I gotta say, this feels more like a Battlefield map. This rework is something. And now, oh, is this, does this gonna be the glacier jump now? Is there still gonna be kind of that big glacier jump? I heard some people saying they were worried. Oh, but I didn't realize that was a thing. But, like, Damavon Peak? It kind it is! Oh, all right. Down to the oil rig, okay. Oh man. Alright, that's a bad area. Holy shit, how did I get up here? Alright. Uh. Teammates want to spawn on me? I don't. I didn't know I was getting to end up here. Can we move up? Oh god, no, that tank's still there! <laughs> Who puts a tank on an oil rig? How do you even do that? Oh. Uh, how does the tank get up here, he says, and then watches how it's happening. Like a like watching a baby being born. Alright, let's move up. Explodey. Look at that. Oh, okay. It's feeling a little battlefieldy. The dedicated grenade button. It's a welcome addition. I gotta remember it's there so I can use it. I haven't used grenades, like, at all in Battlefield 2042 because... Hitting D-pad right, and then the trigger, like, it was just a pain in the ass. I know there was a way to remap a dedicated button, but I forget, I forget what it was that they had. What? The, it doesn't throw, it just switches to it? Why, why would you have a dedicated grenade button that doesn't just throw the grenade? Can I, oh yeah, that's right, their menu still sucks butts. Oh god, I've been, I've been, I've been revived. Cool. Auto throw grenades. Yes! Why did they give you a dedicated button but then not make it to where it actually throws? Auto throw the fucking grenades. Yeah, fucking. When I push the button, fucking throw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aw, oh, shit.
Excuse me. Where are those shots coming from? Dedicated grenade button. God, that's slow to throw, but at least it threw. Oh, shit. Oh, got a new one-time use med pen for assault. All right. Need a different optic on that thing. This oil rig is not a it's just not a great place to fight. It's a little too random and cluttery. There's all these fucking hallways and shit. I got great teammate. I don't know, maybe this is the class system working. Maybe this is my medic, being a medic. Uh, SMG's probably still super powerful. I'm assuming they haven't actually fixed the weapon balance in this game. Look at me, I can actually use a grenade. What the insta dead? <laughs> can we push to the back side? Oh, we do have C1. We can put. Why? They still haven't fixed the fact that you don't spawn anywhere near where you ask to spawn? That's a pretty fucking major issue in this game. I want to spawn near this point. How about 400 meters away from there? Nah. This game still fit makes me feel like I've never played a shooter before. Throwing knife? Why did the throwing knife make like a gun sound? For you! You are a hero. You may not have a soul, but you'll always have my heart. Let's do this, Leroy! <laughs> Stolen out! Flanking round! Flanking round! Flanking round! Flanking! Fire! I'm on fire! Yes! Huh! Get it! Time to fly! I gotta say, that wingsuit is one of the cooler. One of the cooler things ever put into a Battlefield game. Ever. That's a tank! You're right in there. What the- Those open?! <laughs> I did not know that those open! Did they just open from the inside? Is that how that- That was- That was unfortunate. Ah! Oh, you are such a hero. I am leaving. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, I got caught super out in the open. Man, if every map played like this, I would, I might play Battlefield. Oh, you're such a hero. Watch out for that door. Tank! <laughs> Put on the armor. That's not the armor, that's the armor. Uh. <laughs> Woo. All right, am I alive? I'm alive. All right. Hiya. I got a grenade. That might be my first grenade kill. Did I get like a double, triple grenade kill? Oh my god, I can use grenades again! This map is playing fantastically. The Russians are defeated. The entire site is now secure. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Was that just good? Engagement distances? You had options. Plenty of cover. You could move tactically. Flanking routes? It made using this burst weapon not feel like the best choice because there was a lot of like opportunities for up-close engagements. Map design is is that's the jam. If you nail the maps for the battlefield playstyle, I think that's just true for games in general, right? However you build your gameplay, build your maps to match. Battlefield 2042 has been in a weird place where the strongest weapons are either snipers, because every map is super long range, or SMGs, because they're the most accurate fully automatic weapons at longer ranges, because assault rifles are less accurate at long range than SMGs, which is ridiculous. Gun attachments, I still are, I feel like are a big problem in this game. I don't feel like the attachments really do anything but make weapons worse in this game. <laughs> don't seem to see the reason for them most of the time. Like, put on a good low magnification optic, call it a day, maybe a larger capacity magazine. Manifest, which apparently is also getting a rework, um, but hasn't yet. I gotta say, that map was good. Breakthrough on what it's another B one. I don't even know. Break down, break, break. Ice map. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. That played well. I'm a little stunned. If you can't tell, I'm just like, what? Was that actually a decent battlefield map that played well? All right, let's try a different class for this one. The go-tos, I think, for a lot of people, but for me especially. In the past, are always Assault and Medic. I was working with the K-30, so let's do the K-30. With Angel. Angel K-30. Look at these animations. Look at this, look at this just janky shit that never should have made it to release and is still here over a year later. Um, Angel and Falk are still pretty powerful because they can give themselves ammo and health so it still kind of makes us and and since they're proficient with smgs this is like the uber class since i'm assuming smgs still haven't been balanced so best weapon class and you can keep yourself alive you can revive give yourself ammo and health uh angel because he has his special perk allows him to give himself ammo so you can choose to give yourself a med box to go with it and Falk is the opposite. She has her med gun, and so you can choose to take an ammo box with it. So the support class has the health box and the ammo box. Because apparently that's what support means. It means we give stuff. We give boxes. I don't have a problem with that fundamentally. It's just a little different than, like, medic. Oh, we got actual paddles now. But that, I gotta say, that feels good charging the paddles. Mmm. Call it nostalgia, but I like it. Take what you need. Ah, that's a tank. That explains why I'm like seeing 15 medics everywhere, because there's just by far the best class in the game. How do they, like, this is a big rework to put in the class system. How do they not realize that the class that has everything is going to be the most powerful class. <laughs> the assault class gets assault rifles, I guess. That's always been kind of their strong suit. Is the most versatile weapons in the game, the assault rifles, were what the assault class got. So because you got like the best class of weapon in the game, kind of gave up on the perks of like health or ammo. And your job was just to be the attacker. But the problem is, in this game, the assault rifles are not the strongest weapon class. SMGs are. So having the assault class get an inferior weapon class and then also not have any of the support stuff and giving the SMG class, which is the best weapon class, to the class that also gets health and ammo is just ridiculous. Like, these people are professionals. Like, they're, they're designing this game. How do they not intuitively know this shit? 
Wow. Maybe they did rebounds. Maybe the M5 is now some super weapon, because that is killing fucking fast. M5 was trash for like the first year. I think one of the biggest things that the Battlefield developers misjudged was how poorly the operator system would fit into a game like Battlefield. Especially when it brings along like specialized traits. In Call of Duty, yeah, they added whatever operators special- I don't even remember. It doesn't matter what the fucking names they give them, right? But they're cosmetic. 100% cosmetic, right? And that's really what is cool about that, is it's just cosmetic. This, they like, tried to kind of sort of turn it into a hero shooter? Which is really not what Battlefield players want, I don't think. And I think, uh, I think the response to the game has, has shown that that's not what we want. Especially when it feels like it's only being done to try and sell us season passes and shit. God, that must be an M5, I guess, because that thing is fucking laser beam now. Or maybe it's because the assault class now specializes in that weapon, so it's... So it, like... Makes it better. Yeah, just keep shooting that way, bitch. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> just sitting back there fucking camping. That is a bad design. Right there. You can go over there, and then it's just a wall, and you've got 80 feet of open space, and a wall you can't go around? There should be cover between here and there. This is just a big, wide open space. So they definitely haven't reworked this yet. This is... This layout is still shit. The only way that's got cover is over here, which means that it's the only way everyone's going, so everyone on that team is looking at it. Otherwise, I gotta run 40 yards through the open to get over there. And there's a guy that can snipe from up there and defeat all what little cover you do have. This map is also shit. Just bad maps, right? You can't... You can't escape bad map design. Alright, we got B2, now we're reverse pressing B1. No, not a fucking tornado. Those were exactly what people were worried they were. Just a complete stupid novelty that wore out its welcome the second time you saw one. It just objectively makes every game worse that it shows up in. Oh, a tornado! That's cool! Once. Literally one time that's cool. Then it's just like, oh look, here comes some random bullshit to fuck up my game again. Keep your tornado away from us, please. Thank you. Fuck off, please. Thanks. Oh look, my HUD's fucked up for no reason. Thanks. You know, the HUD is just a visual representation of what I know about my own equipment. I don't forget how much ammo I have because there's a tornado nearby. You want to scramble the radar? Fine. But I can't see, like, my med pack, clearly? Flanky flank. Oh, friendly. No, I want to revive you! But the fucking tornado! Why am I stuck paddling? And then I just get killed. By the tornado. That's fun, game! You know what I love is RNG just coming in and killing me. Fucking beautiful. Just pop up a screen just goes, You died! Somehow. You were pushing the objective, but then, uh, a monster. Grenade! Yikes! No, no, no! Ah! <laughs> Fucking third party in that gunfight, damn it. Here, I got you this, and I got you these. Enjoy. Bye. Hakuna Matata. Ah, 
God, that was so fast. Did they, like, turn the time to kill up to 11? It feels like I'm dying so much faster than I used to. Look at this horrible, like, layout of these positions. Gotta run for a fucking hour to get nowhere. And then what? I'm gonna have to, like, fight my way up onto the ship? Looking pretty good, fellas. Have some help. It's Christmas! Focus, focus, up, up! Someone get over here! Get you moving! Go, go! Running, 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 running. 800 miles to the next point. 300 meters, 200 meters. Yeah. That is too far! No? McKay only? I feel discriminated against. <laughs> Guy up top! Shit! Oh god! We have started an what? Look at that big fucking wide open murder hole. This one definitely needs a rework. Ugh. Makes me just want to play Break... Breakthrough. Whatever, whatever the fuck that one's called. <laughs> uh, well, shit. I have to leave! <laughs> And honestly, I'm not motivated to finish that game anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up my boy. If you guys enjoyed that video, because you enjoyed that new breakthrough map, I, all right. I mean, I liked it. So maybe that's something. If you enjoyed that video, leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave me a dislike. I'm still confused about 2042. It's still not great, but you will definitely see more videos from me soon. So I'll see you guys in the next one.